<clears throat> so I'm Dr. Uh, Fahim Rahim. Um, I'm from Idaho, United States, and uh, I was in Nepal for two weeks. So uh, I went to Nepal for two weeks, almost two weeks. I was there on the ground. I led one of the largest privately funded American medical relief team that eventually turned into an international team. We mostly concentrated on Sindhupal Chowk. Um, what I'm here, as you all can see, is a rally going on. Um, the main purpose to come here is not only to raise money, but more importantly to raise our voices, uh, to let the world know that what's happened in, the, in Nepal is not about the earthquake. It's truly a story about the people of Nepal. It's their resilience, it's their strength, it's their passion, it's their love. Um, the reason I go there is because of the people. And like I tell people, Nepal is beautiful not only because of their tall mountains and deep gorges, but you know, mostly because of the love of their people. And the work that Nepal hasn't finished, the work will not finish till the last hungry person is fed, till the last homeless gets shelter, and till the last person in pain gets comforted. And that is what we need to strive for. My real message to all of you is to get to your congressmen, get to your senators, call your media, tell them what the real story of Nepal is. They need to get engaged. And the only way they will engage is if you get engaged. The only way they'll listen to you is if your voice is louder and clearer and together. We can scream all we want in our separate apartments and colleges and dorms, but the only way our government in the United States will listen to us is we all come together. So the real message about Nepal is we all need to get together and move this movement forward. The most efficient way to help Nepal right now is what I just said. We need to raise our voice because Nepal needs a lot of help for many um, years, okay? We I'm need doing, help uh, for so building it, rebuilding it, and the, the only way we can do is to by telling our congressmen, uh, our senators, uh, to get engaged. Uh, uh, we need to get the United States uh, engaged, uh, okay? Uh, the rest is uh, a real uh, message. Well, I have lots of friends there. I've been going for years. So when this happened, I canceled my trek, but I wanted to be with my friends, uh, you know, my family. Uh, so there's no more motivation than be with your friends and family in time of need. Oh, it's devastating. I mean, no one, no one can be prepared for what you see on the ground. You know, it's carnage, wreckage everywhere. But the real the thing that surprised me was how resilient people were. They still had the smile on their faces. They still want to help the next person before they needed help. So that's the powerful thing. Get united. Get united.